Do you know how easy it is to make cheese? Y'all, I went to a class at the Canning Center in Duval County put on by our local extension officers, and it was crazy easy. Stay tuned. The first cheese we made was ricotta. We started by adding whole milk into our pot and heating it. Um, while we heated, we stirred, and we also added citric acid with water. And you kept stirring and stirring until it got curdled and then poured it into the cheesecloth, straining off the liquid. The less liquid you have, the harder it is, and the more liquid, the more spreadable it is. It was delicious. The second cheese we made was mozzarella. So we started by dissolving this rennet tablet into water. You can also use liquid rennet. Um, there are several books that they recommended buying, which I purchased from Books A Million. Um, once you have all of the items added, you stir and stir until it gets to the perfect temperature. And you'll also see um, the milk to st start curdling. Um, and you use a slotted spoon um, and you go an up and down movement and you'll start seeing the curds forming. It was really, really interesting and also brought to life the um, nursery rhyme with the curds in a way. <laughs> Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuppet because that's exactly what it makes. And the curds are the cheese and then the whey is discarded at the end. You can use it to make all kinds of things. Um, I fed it to my chickens and poured some on my plants for fertilizer. So you can see here the curds in the way. Such a neat process. Um, after it got to the perfect consistency, which you can see here, we poured it into muslin um, and separated the curds from the way. They also had this awesome cheese tasting for us. It was so yummy. Um, before we poured it into the muslin, I have to go back a little bit, we did cut it first into cubes, which was also a really neat process. Um, after we cut it into cubes, that is when we poured it into the muslin and separated the curds from the whey. So you'll get to see that process in a minute. All the cheeses from the cheese tasting was from Trader Joe's and they were so yummy. So you'll have to go check out Trader Joe's cheese selection. So here it is cut into the squares. Um, again, heating it up to the perfect temperature, using the spoon to kind of go up and down with it, separating the curds and whey. And once it was the perfect temperature, then we poured it into our cheesecloth, separating the two. It was so beautiful and so neat and so surprising at how easy it is to make cheese. Like who knew? And here you can see we're separating it out. And again, the more liquid you keep in, the juicier your cheese will be more moisture I guess and the more you take out the harder your cheese will be um, put it into a bowl and then with the mozzarella cheese we put it in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time until it got um, so you could kind of do it like you make bread and then we um, kept doing it until it got so, you know soft enough that we can make it nice and shiny round ball and then you can see it was really neat to kind of have it go across the table um some people's was much more able to go across the table than others ours broke i think we took a little too much liquid out of ours but you know trial and error we're going to definitely make some more cheese and um, it was just such a fun process. And then at the end, we put it in the ice. And here we have the most perfect mozzarella cheese ball, y'all. Oh.